Okay, so we're going to work on colliders for the Shinkansen and then manage the textures. So, and unwrap the vehicle. Now, there is another front end that needs to happen too. It's not just this one. So, let me open an older version. The other front end is the one that doesn't have a cockpit and doesn't have the cargo bay, so we have to keep that in mind. Mm, don't know how far back we have to go to. This is a clean one without it cut out. Okay, so I just want to make sure th this will be a simpler body, but it's the one with the tank. By this point we had already cut out the windows. So, okay, I'm going to just save this particular mesh and import it into here. It'd be tempting to use this as the collider for this, but of course that would be completely wrong. And colliders for Kerbal Space Program need to be made convex, not concave. And this does have concavity, very light concavity, but in any case, the other body needs to have the cutouts for the cargo bay, and that means that the colliders have to be a little bit more complicated. But let's organize all this. This is not supposed to be part of the back end. For now, we'll set that aside. Well, maybe we can take part of it as the initial part of this. M most of it will be okay. What we want is... Oh, not like that. Definitely up to this line here would be fine. Let me add an extra line. Seems like those should all be in the same Y coordinate. Okay, and then this alternate version. Let's just have these two meshes together. Same place. Okay, that bit. So that's a collider, but I think that'll be all right for for Unity. You might want to knock this bit down a bit, but I think Unity will be okay with that as a convex collider. I'm thinking, and actually we should seal the end of this. I'm thinking we'll have the regular cabin, the regular IVA view in here, but there'll be a section where the Kerbals can walk around in here, here. That's confusing and complicating things a bit. This docking tunnel will need to be higher because if we have a docking port there, the thing that it docks to will need to be, you know, accessible. So let's see about this. We just need it as high as possible without the docking port ending up clipping anything. Okay, this mesh is... I think that's enough for a docking port. So, we need colliders on the skin of this, but not obstructing the ability of Kerbals to get around it. They can be small gaps because Kerbals can't go through small gaps, but they can't be any large gaps. Okay, this payload fuel thing needs to have its scale applied. That one too. So, we've got complicated collider business. We can start with the back wall here. Hmm, that might be more complicated yeah, because I want the Kerbals to be able to pass through into here. Maybe this docking adapter might also need to be a little bit better than what it is right now. Yeah, maybe I should shape this wall a little bit tighter to what I want. Duplicate those. 
Oh, and we really don't need all that there. And then separate that. Duplicate that. Separate. Hmm. I don't think the Kerbal can get through that little bit there. That might be dodgy, but I'm gonna take that. Oh. I should just... Link them, maybe? But it's probably not worth the trouble. I think Unity will be fine with those, but maybe this one is a little bit too extreme. Okay, I'll just apply all that. Nope, no apply. There are ways to apply modifiers collectively, though. So, that's so the Kerbals can go through into the, whatever we have here. We better have something there, otherwise they'll just float right into the bay. So then we have to have the bay's walls. And probably a floor. I think, yeah, we'll have that be a floor. We could probably simplify this by making it not just a collider, but the actual uh, an actual thing. But maybe not. Let's just have a separate thing in here. Uh, right, we'll need walls there too. This is one reason why we didn't do the texturing first. Okay, we will name that floor. Oh, there's another floor. Whoops. Uh, fine. There's another floor. That's okay. Okay, but so we've got a collider on the bottom. We just need a collider along the walls. Let's just say there's one collider there. That should be fine. One collider there. So we're just duplicating the sec sections and then we'll just mirror them afterwards. Okay, so four sections like that. So. making these into solid objects. That's a little bit weird, but we could just go like that and probably be all right for for unity. Oh, uh, first this one. And that one. And then these end bits. Oh yeah, the screen. Sorry, the screencast keys were off. It always starts off. I don't know why. It's just remember whether you are on or not. At least in the same file. Okay, mirror. And then let's just apply mirror, and then say by loose parts. Oh, 
they're not loose because they merged. Whoops. No. No, uh, no merging. There we go. Separate by loose parts. Okay, so that's the colliders for that section. But yes, we have to do the interior. I'm not gonna solidify, I'm just gonna... Select these polygons. Going to duplicate. Got a size. Size in Y, 0.99. Size in X, 0.99. Oh, wait. Y is probably not the right one. Z. Size in X.99, size in Z.99. Okay, and then flip the normals. We'll never see these. And you know what? We'll just build the wall like this. Uh, the floor, sorry. Probably having just one polygon is a bad idea, but... Okay, so, rear cabin. Interior. Okay, but we do have to cut out this wall and that interior bit so that they can get through. So, Boolean time. Okay, so there's a cutter cylinder. And we want to cut through this. And we also want to cut through the cabin interior. And let us verify that when we have those bits, we now have a hole. Well, it's a thicker hole than I was intending. Interesting. Uh, well, that's because of the positioning of the of the cylinder. Let's have the cylinder be a little bit less obtrusive. Okay, we'll we will cull the back faces as it were. Oh great, fine. Right, you guys this you're not helping. Oh, fine. Uh, well, that's thinner than I was expecting, but okay. Better save at this point. Okay, so maybe that is done. <laughs> um, these guys are a little bit weird, their positioning. Okay, we just need straight blocks on the side. And we'll keep those simple. They're, they'll be cubes. Uh, we'll just extend to the end of the cargo bay. I feel like Unity is gonna think something about this is concave, but...
so collider bay bottom. I don't like that one poking out. That looks reasonable. But the top has to be in line with the bottom of the bay. Which is just a little bit higher. Right about there. Okay. So the front of the bay should be solid, the side bits the bottom and now we just need the back bit which basically is this chunk here so we'll just duplicate that not the most efficient colliders ever but that, that handles it Okay, well, the next section is, e well, not even worse, but it's pretty bad, too. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I mean, it, we, we can just do cubes. The only thing is we have to leave this part empty. Well, somewhat empty. Or maybe you can have a cube that's not extending all the way. Otherwise, the thrust transforms are not going to work. So we'll actually make this section a little bit thinner because it's bound to try to collide with something. So we won't have the back face actually threatening collision. Yeah, we're keeping it simple like that. And then we'll have one little cut in the middle to try and match things better. With that... We can symmetrize it. And that should be it for that. Collider abort. Nope, just another cube for this back bit. Um, well, except I guess the cutout sections we should leave hollow. I mean, I don't know if Kerbal's gonna blow things up if I don't. I guess we'll find out and then we'll adjust the colliders as necessary. But for the abort motors, we have these cutouts. I'm wondering if I should have that reflected in the collider or not. For now, I think I will not. And I'm going to hope that Kerbal doesn't mind. Now let's bring the bottom first. Cut down the middle so that we can move these edges up. And maybe we should have some cuts here. Oh, that actually is taking more of the back than I wanted. walls there. Okay, so this is convex. Right? Right. Let me just apply the scale on all these. 
We already applied that, I think. So I can get rid of that one. Okay, well, I could put the colliders on top of this. Oops. That should be good enough. Do people really want to stick things on the wall here? I'm not gonna let them stick things on the wall there. Okay, these should be convex colliders already. That is a convex collider, that's a convex collider, that's convex. We don't have to add a special collider for that. And I don't think we need to add a special collider for this. I think those that it's close. I think it's convex enough that it'll be acceptable as a collider. And I, I don't think there's like a huge amount of polygons. It's nasty, but uh, I could make a cube to simplify it, but simple colliders aren't I don't think it's gotta be a big performance thing. So for now I think we're done with the colliders. Uh, unless I decide to add a simple collider to that. Yeah, that one seems to be all done. Okay. I think we can get rid of these. Oh, wait. Maybe not. Oh, no, that's a collider, right? Well, we'll have to get rid of all the colliders as well. Not rid of, but hide. Philo's gone. What, what it was? Okay, okay, it, this, okay, the rear cabin is so close that it looks fuzzy when we're in this view, but it's okay. Alright, so I think that's all the collider, oh no, the collider on the docking port is off. Um, okay, well, I don't know if I want to keep that the way it is, but we'll deal with it. Uh, that should already be textured, so I don't need to worry about that. So, let's get the heat shielded parts separate. I'm going to say that this part is RCC. This will also help us figure out the mass of the heat shielding. Uh, I think it needs to be higher because we're not getting the full bottom there. Because we can calculate the area of each of these meshes separately. Okay, yep, yeah, that's what we're going to have like that. HRSI. Then this bit is cargo bay. Don't know about that bit. Oh, but I guess it comes with it. All right. For Kerbal Space Program, each mesh can only have one material. That's why we are splitting them off like this. Uh oh. We don't want the extra animation on those. Hmm. Hold on. We should probably start it in that position. This is a little bit complicated. Um, let, let's get some of that stuff named first. Okay, the windows can be done right now. There's no other thing that's going to be windows. That's the old textures for for it. Okay. 
A for all, you smart unwrap is fine for this. It'll fill up the space. Okay. Now this interior, we just call bay interior. And so we'll have that for that and for this and also cargo bay. And then we will also have rear cabin interior. Rear interior. And that we can unwrap now, and we can probably also unwrap the cargo bay. And then now we're gonna separate off the little RCS ports here. Because they'll be a different texture. I should actually just mirror the selection and maybe we we'll get the ones on the other side. No, oh, the the fabric of it is a little bit wrinkled. But actually, uh, separating off the RCS ports makes it less wrinkled. Okay, those should be all the RCS ports in that section. We're just going to combine them. These faces in here should be something different. Okay, can we mirror that? Mirror selection. Select mirror. No, no. Include. Okay. Ah, I missed that one. Okay. Uh, that seems to have gotten more than I was looking for. Maybe whatever texture that is, these can also be the same. Come to think of it. And these little interior bits too, while we're at it. Let me just name that point zero zero zero. Okay, I think the door will be its own thing. The pipe and the truss will probably be the same texture. The door will just be HRSI, both sides. Heat shielding the RCS portion seems like a good idea. But it always seems to pick up more than I'm expecting. Those should have gone with a different bit. Not pores, ports. Ah, uh, okay. I could just unwrap one of those. <laughs> uh. uh oh, there's bits. Why, why did you guys not go with the rest of them? Maybe I should have two different HRSI sections. Uh, you know what? That can just be body. I think, right? Your... your body. You should be body too. Don't know what that is. Or interior is fine. Okay, should the little doors be a different texture? Hmm. 
We'll ponder that. First, this bit. This is relatively simple. I guess we'll make them the same as these channels. extra no okay um we'll just say back in front back in front that's a weird thing to say but now the bottom of the body is hrsi uh, all this needs to be shielded But the RCS port bits have to be different. Once again. I should then symmetrize the selection again. That's all going to be the same texture, and that's all going to be body as well. Now, all the flaps can just be HRSI. We are going to have to fix where that's centering on, but we'll hold off on that. And now the wings. They're being mirrored. Fine for texturing. I guess the leading edge is going to be RCC. But only the very leading edge. Maybe this part too, but should be alright. Okay, anything I'm missing here? I don't think so. The non kerbled option also needs to be split up and but we're probably going to borrow the HRSI and RCC. So let me select that for the RCC. Make sure those are also RCC, actually. There's no other... Well, I haven't done the vertical stabilizer. I think we'll just have the leading edge be HRSI in this case. Maybe we need it to be RCC? I don't know. Can you make RCC that then? <laughs> Should you? Well, it's not normally thin. But I don't particularly want tiles. Okay, so object... No, oh, actually select, linked, material. So that's all the RCC material. And then we go into edit mode, select all. And then unwrap them. Ah, see, now that's a problem. It's not, that's not looking right. So, what we need to do is add some seams. These, This bit is too long. So, I'm going to edge... Mark seam. So, a little bit better. These bits are too long now. Uh, edge mark seam. Okay, that's good enough for now. 
The tanks are not going to be visible. Abort motors. Object. Uh, no, select. Linked material. It's a little bit weird having those be separate, but we don't need it to be a high quality texture anyway. Let me just make a tank texture to just satisfy those, otherwise they might get in the way of things. Okay, body. That's a lot of it. And then HRSI, which is also a lot of it. And maybe we should think about the decoupler as also middle bits at this point. So, okay, select all the middle bits. Board interior is just that, so... RCS ports. Well, there's two sets. Back in this part of the body, rear tank is another tank. Back in doors are part of back in front, which we haven't done yet. Back in RS HRSI is already there. RCS is already there. Bay door left. Well, that's the top. Oh, that should be body. Oh, gosh. Okay, those need to be body. So we want to select body again. Feel like that could be rearranged a little bit better. Um, can I not have those? All right, not that. Yes, these. Guess it doesn't make too much of a difference. Okay, bay door interior is part of bay interior. Select all that. We already unwrapped that. That doesn't look great though. Ah, that all comes together. I can't make it too much bigger over there. Uh, whatever. That we're not worrying about right now. Vertical stabilizers. Well, we want a new wings thing. Uh-oh. Wings HRSI was not... Well, let's have it be wings HRSI so it doesn't take up more HRSI space. You know what? I'll, let me reconsider these guys. They, we probably want the tiles to look a little bit better, so we're gonna move that, the body flap, and the rudder off to Wings HRSI instead. Okay, so back to this HRSI. Hello. Select all of that. Redo that. Doesn't make a huge amount of difference, but at least the rest of the wing isn't part of it now. Okay, hopefully we didn't have any bits that were a different scale. If it's a different scale, it'll take up a different amount of space when we unwrap using Smart Unwrap. Everything should be the same scale. 
The engines are already done, they're separate. I think that's everything. So, next time we gotta make sure that all the colliders are on material. Because that's what I usually do so I can hide them easier. We can use the link material and hopefully that all works. Where are the rest of them? Control L, link material. The fuel payload thingy, I want to duplicate these two sections. I'm gonna make those... ...lesser bits of that object. And we're going to take a look at that. You're all selected? Okay. Okay, so that should do it for this one. Uh, this will just have be a different... Mm, body fuel. Mm, feel like a seam is called for here. Now these aren't that important. L to select a linked batch of things. Well, anyway, probably better use of the area. Alright. I think that's everything, but now we have to, like, export stuff. The substance painter portion. 